Apple Siri to Honda's robot SEMO machine seem to be getting better and better at communicating with humans. But some neuroscientists caution that today's computer will never truly understand what we are saying because they do not take into account the context of a conversation the way people do. Specifically, say University of California, Berkeley, postdoctoral and fellow origin Stoll and his daughter colleagues. Machines don't develop a sure understanding of people, place, and situation, often including a low social history that is key to human communication. Without such common ground, a computer cannot help but be confused. People tend to think of communication as an exchange of linguistic signs or gestures, forgetting that much of communication is about the social context about who you are communicating with, Stolt said. The word bank, for example, would be interpreted one way if you are holding a credit card, but a different way if you are holding fishing pole without context. Making V with two fingers could mean victory. The number two or these are two fingers I broke. All these subtitles are quite crucial to understanding one another. So to say, perhaps more so, perhaps more so than the words and signals that computer and many neuroscientists focus on is the key to communication. In fact, we can understand one another without language, without words and signals that already have a shared meaning. Babies and parents, not to mention strangers, lacking a common language communicate effectively all the time based solely on gestures and shared context they build up over even a short time Salk argued that scientists and engineers should focus more on contextual aspects of mutual understanding basing his argument on experiment evidence from brain scan that humans achieve non-verbal mutual understanding using unique computational and neural mechanisms. Some of the studies Salk has conducted suggest that a breakdown in mutual understanding is behind social disorders such as autism. This shift is understanding how people communicate without any need for language, providence, a new theoretical and empirical foundation for understanding normal social communication, and providence a new window into understanding and treating disorders of social communication in neurological and neurodevelopment. Disorders, say Dr. Robert Knight, a UC Berkeley professor of psychology in the Campus Helens Wells Neuroscience Institute and a professor of neurology and neurosurgery at UCSB. Salt and his colleagues discussed the importance of conceptual elements for mutual understanding in an opinion piece appearing January 11 in the journal Trends in Cognitive Science. Brain scans pinpoint site for meeting of minds. To explore how brains age of mutual understanding, soul created a game that requires two players to communicate the roles to each other solely by game movements without talking or even seeing one another, eliminating the influence of language gestures. He then placed both players in a functional magnetic resonance imager and scanned their brains as they non-verbally communicate with one another via computer. He found that the same region of the brain located in the poorly understand right temporal lobe just above the ear became active in both players during the attempts to communicate the rules of the game. Critically, the superior temporal gyrus of the right temporal lobe maintained a steady baseline activity throughout the game but became more active when one player suddenly understood what the other player was trying to communicate. The brain's right hemisphere is more involved in abstract through and social interaction than the left hemisphere. This region in the right temporal loop increase in active the movement you establish. A sure meaning for something but not when you communicate a signal thought say the better the players got at understanding each other the more activity the region become. This means that both players are building a similar conceptual framework in the same area of the brain, constantly testing one another to make sure their conception Alan and updating only when new information changes that mutual understanding. The result is we are reported in 2014 in the proceedings of the National Academy of Science. It is surprising, says Stock, that for the both communicator who has studied input while she is planning her move 
and the address who is observing dynamic visual input in during the game. The same region of the brain became more active over the course of the pyramids as they improved their mutual understanding. Robot statistical reasoning. Robots and computers, on the other hand, conserve based on a statistical analysis of a world's meaning. So let's say, if you visually use the word bank to mean a place to cash a check, then that will be a summon meaning in a conversation, even when the conversation is about fishing. Apple theory focuses on statistical regularities, but communication is not about statistical regularities. He said, Statistical regularities may get you far, but it's not how the brain does. In order for the computers to communicate with us, they will need a cognitive object that continuously captures and updates the conceptual space shared with their communication partner during a conversation. Stalker studies have pointed out the brain area critical to mutual understanding in a 2014 study he used brain simulation to disrupt a real portion of the temporal lab and found this is important for integration in common science with knowledge from previous interaction. A later study found that in a patient with a damage to the frontal lab, decisions to communicate are no longer fine-tuned to store knowledge about an address loss. Studies could explain why such patients appear socially awkward in everyday social interactions. Stalker plans future studies with the nine using fine tuned brain mapping on the actual surface of the brains of volunteers, so called electrocorticography. Salt said he wrote the new paper in hopes of moving the study of communication to new level with a focus on conceptual alignment. Most cognitive neuroscientists focus on the signals themselves, on the words, gestures, and their statistical relationships. Ignoring the underlying conceptual ability that we're using during communication and the flexible of everyday life. He said language is very helpful, but it is a tool for communication.